whose footprints started in the sewers. Yes? I think Mince might have fled down into the sewers. Of course. You're no true Baldorian unless you've sloshed around in the slurry after all. <sighs> the Undercity is perilous. But I recall Minsk making a home down there in the old days. To plant his boot on the very bosom of evil. Or some such. I'll mark an entrance I know. From there, we shall just have to follow our noses. We haven't known each other for very long, so perhaps I ought to clarify. When I say, don't interfere or else, most people avoid finding out what or else means. I told you Jahira and I would handle it. Just let us. Rather than stuffing you in a box and dropping you into the river, you mean? No threats, Estelle. We are your allies, whether you want to see it or not. You're still the city's best chance of sending the absolute pack in. So, yes, I need you. I even like you. But know that I do not need or like anyone so much that I will let them cross me twice. You want to handle Minsk? Then handle him before I do. What's this, cousin? Another absolutist come to see what we did to poor old Sarin. Your god took her mind, cultist, so Bereki took her head, and I burned the flesh from her bones. And now you come to interrupt the funeral rites. I... Yes, cousin. An excellent idea. Cousin says we will take you in return. He says you look just like kindling for Sarin's funeral pyre. You have it wrong. I'm not with the Absolute. Ha! I believe you may believe that. The Absolute takes people, twists them. Sarin, Bereki, and I, we were the three finest thieves in Baldur's Gate. We broke into the offices of Gortash, discovered he was with the Absolute too. Your fellow cultists hunted us, so we hid down here. We were safe, and so was our loot, until the darkness soured Sarin's mind. She kept our treasure from us. Said Bereki and I had gone strange. Hush, cousin. Sarin turned into a cultist herself, so we did what we had to. Bereki wept until his voice was gone, and then he was gone too, leaving only me to conduct Sarin's rites. And my cousins here. You cannot conduct the rites without a clan to bear witness. Or some fuel for the fire. <laughs> I'm not a cultist, and I don't think your friend was either. Your paranoia turned you against one another. 
She swore she was no cultist, but you all lie. The absolute turns you. I don't know. I don't know. Pass then, and do not come back. This is Sarin's final resting place, and a killing ground for all who come to disturb her. What are we supposed to be doing? Wizard told us to watch for troublemakers. But we are trouble. That water looks tainted. Better to avoid it. Mm. Ah! Just as I was getting bored, our Lord sends us a little diversion. All the coin seems to be there, if a little blood stained. You lot are enthusiastic about your Lord's work. Our Lady. We serve only the Absolute. Oh, silly me. We send to Rimmer so long past our own godly roots, I'm afraid I forget the half of them. But you, I know. When did you start worshipping gods? Did they give your wee rodent a worm friend, too? <sighs> Rodent. Enough! You will show the Stone Lord proper respect, and you will return to the Guild Hall and do as we have paid you to. Of course. I only thought... Wait. Flop all you wish, little fish. But Minsk has caught you! On that note, good luck. The job will be done by the time you get to the Guild Hall. Does not like this. Do not kill him. Find another way, please. Darkness swarming, his senses a single light glows. Rage flaring brighter every moment. He won't stay down for long. Tell your Elithi to protect him from the Elder Brain's influence. Quickly! No. This one will not aid our cause. Get rid of him. Extend your protection to him. Don't be foolish. He is too unpredictable. He will only be a hindrance to us. He's Jahira's friend. Do it! No. I will not be coerced into protecting him. You 
do not see what I do. His thoughts, his mind, pure chaos. The Mind Flare pours poison in your ear, I think. Tell it I will tear the prism from your grasp and throw it into the deepest lava pit I can find. Long after our bones are dust and ash, the walls of its prison will still be burning. Now help my friend! She bluffs. Surely she would not risk the fate of all for one simple life. I don't think you want to find out. Fine. Have it your way. His mind unfolds beneath yours. A still lake pulls you down into its depths. Images flash by, battles fought and friends fallen. His rage grows colder, burrows deeper, as a familiar face crystallizes before you. Jahira, you killed her! You are being dramatic. The instant's hesitation is enough. With a sensation of terrible rending, something vast and nameless falls away from his mind. There. It is done. <coughs> Jaira? I do not understand. Good. That means you're back to your old ways. We have a lot to discuss. But first... You have someone to thank. In the sudden silence, your minds merge once more. More memories, sensations, but passing too quickly for you to track. In the same breath, you share everything that happened to you. The Nautiloid, the Absolute, the Chosen of the Dead Three. You... You saved Minsk. While he danced like a Mind Flayer's meat puppet. Why? Jahira insisted. <laughs> Suggested. You do well to heed her. Jahira was very wise. Even before she was very old. There is someone you must meet. He is... Uh, he is... Where is he? My friend, from our brief sharing of skulls, I know you have faced many strange beings, but none like this. Whatever happens, show no fear and stay your hand. Trust in Minsk. I do trust you. I think. Minsk finds that the less thinking he does, the easier the trusting comes. Wait! You gaze into Minsk's soul and see his foul crimes. You smell the stench of evil upon him, pointy claws primed, ready to scratch out his eyes. I am sorry, my friend. I am at the mercy of your faultless justice. Now, if you must burrow through my blackened heart, I am ready. No? You are certain? Oh, such boundless compassion. You are all heart, and whiskers, and cute little nose. 
Uh, you are right, of course. There is still much evil for Bu and Minx to stamp out. But we need not fight it alone. I have a new face to show you. But it is not a villainous one for the clawing, understand? You, this is Boo. And Boo, meet you? It is an honor. No, it is a hamster. A miniature giant space hamster. Fear not, you will learn the difference in time. Those villains locked Boo away, lest his righteous gaze cause their tadpole to flee in terror. Now we are together again. All will be exactly as... Boo, why do you use such language? Ah, once more, my hamster proves himself my greater half, and makes the path clear when my mind is fuzzier than his tiny bottom. He says we will join with you, and cleanse Baldur's Gate of Evil, together! Can I trust you not to turn on me again, Stone Lord? I give you my solemn vow. Should any of us show signs of weakening to the worm, or any other evil, Boo will slaughter us all in our beds. I hope this brings you comfort. Go to my camp. I have things to do first. Boo and I are most adept in the doing of things, but as you wish. To camp then! For his heroics here today, who has earned the most vigorous of back scratchings? Jahira, Boo is trying his best to explain, but I still do not understand your anger. Do not hide behind your hamster, Ranger. You do not understand because you do not listen. We were the first to discover the cult. And if you had only waited, we might have marshaled our numbers and- Good does not wait for evil to button up its breeches. When it offers buttocks for the smacking, Minsk and Bo greet cheek with hand. This mess falls on our heads, Minsk. The city under siege, its people poisoned by the cult, it all might have been avoided if you had just put your feelings aside and listened. You are the only one Minsk listens to, remember? You mean the doppelgangers? It is no comfort to me that my face made this fool all the easier to lead. The point remains. You meant well, Minsk. But you exposed the city to harm. You helped the cult spread. And worse, perhaps, than any of this. You forced me to leave you behind. But... This is where Minsk falls short of the understanding, Jahira. What else is a Berserker for if not to charge into danger ahead of his Wiklarin? Wiklarin? Minsk, I am not your witch. You are not my bodyguard. This is not some high lodge of your homeland. Who agrees? You are a queer kind of witch. But this city is a queer place. And Minsk, you may have noticed, is sometimes strange himself. The titles matter not. Only this. When Minsk does as Minsk does, and charges in to make a mess, Jahira does as Jahira does, and finds a way to save us all anyway. Oh, that's actually kind of sweet. Oh, I fight alongside fools. You hear that, Boo? We fight alongside the Waklaren again. I am your friend, Ranger. I am not your witch. There will be no ointments or healing bombs. Not even for Boo? Of all the places I expected would find this Minsk, crawling from the broken jaws of a mimic wasn't high on my list. What's life without a few surprises, eh?
Minsk puts on quite a show of brawn. Even if there's no brain worth mentioning. I mean, I hate to judge the proverbial book, but that oaf may be all cover and no pages. I am loath to admit it. But if we can pacify Minsk, he may be a worthy companion. Any man who can resist being digested by a mimic may even give an elder brain food for thought. What do you make of Jahira? She is intelligent, strong, and capable as both a leader and a fighter. An impressive woman. It is a shame that she devotes all of her talents and experience to the futile cause of the Harpers. Their devotion to preserving balance is pathetic. The world requires balance, or it would fall into chaos and disorder. That notion is a lie, amplified by the weak to preserve their feeble grip on the world. There are organizations like the Harpers in every realm, and every culture. I despise all of them. They fear change and would rather maintain mediocrity than face the risks and challenges that progress demands. I would rather break the world and build it anew than be satisfied with its imperfections. You and Minsk are unusual allies. He would despise me if he had the wits to understand me. But as long as he believes we have a common cause, he does not see beyond that. <laughs> I enjoy his simplicity. Oloth, help me. Sometimes, I almost envy it. Understandable. Seeing the world in such simple terms must make life easier. I am not so sure. Fine lodgings you have found, my friend. Who is already in negotiations with the guardian spirits of this place? In Baldur's Gate, they are likely to be rat-formed and eager to charge rent. But Boo shall secure safe slumber for all! Now, what do you need of Minsk? You're quite quick to call me friend. Of course, my friend. Or are we not friends? There hasn't been much time to look for friendship in all of this. Boo never looks to give me fleas. Sometimes you just pick these things up along the path. Now, does Boo see a question in your eye, or just a parasite poking through? Answer me honestly. What's with the hamster? Well, Boo, explain yourself. Clear enough? Enough joking. Does the hamster actually speak to you? There is nothing jestful in the bond between a ranger and his companion. Before Boo, I was a typical berserker of Rashomon. Duty bound and full of my own seriousness. The problem with one so gazing of their navel, however, they are easily ambushed. Brigand split my skull like a sodden wineskin. It was as I recovered that Boo first appeared. He told me that I had felt the great poking finger of justice, marking Minsk as its champion and Boo as my guide. As for the headache, well, justice cannot always afford to be gentle. So you're a paladin of justice. Do not be ridiculous. If any of us is chosen by the gods, it is obviously Boo. Now, shall we away? My boots crave the crunch of unvirtuous nethers. I'd like to know a little more about you. There is more than a little to know, I think. I am huge. Have you and Jahira always had such a quarrelsome relationship? We have! Is it not wonderful? 
Do you even know what quarrelsome means? To irk your friend so that she wishes to fill you with some crossbow quarrels, but knowing she never will for fear of hitting your hamster. There is no need for sweet words between companions such as we. Too often those are the weapons of flatterers and frauds. But she who will beat you about the head with the cold and pointy truth? That is a true Wiklaren. For such a sacred title, you hand it out pretty freely. First Dinah here, now Jahira. You suggest that Minsk uses the term lightly? Simply leaps from Dinah here to Jahira with no caring for the custom itself? An unworthy thought. And wrong! In between, there was also Eri, my second witch. She needed a protector, and Boo suggested that it might as well be Minsk. And when she went her own way, Minsk and Boo set to thinking. There is power in the Wiklaren bond. Far too much to be wasted on weeping. To use that power to serve the living does not sully the dead. It honors them. Of course. That's nothing to do with the Wiklaren bond. It's just being a friend. Hmm. So... Duty, camaraderie, help in troubled times. What I call the bond of a Wiklaren, you simply call friendship. I think I understand your meaning. Then Jahira is my Wiklaren. And so are you. You are my Wiklaren. And Will is my Wiklaren. And Lazel is my Wiklaren. And Historian is my Wiklaren. And Gale is my Wiklaren. And Shadowheart is my Wiklaren. And Holsin is my Wiklaren. And Karlak is my Wiklaren. Or, no, Karlak is a berserker, so perhaps Minsk is her Wiklaren? My thanks to you, Wiklaren. You have given me much to think on. And should some enemy blow knock it loose again, who shall remind me? I think you might have made a terrible, terrible mistake. Huh? Chasing rumor halfway around the city and back. Crossing the guild. Wading through filth. Defying the one creature upon whom your very life depends. All for a madman and his rodent. The Absolute threatens thousands, the entire coast. And still you risk much to help one man. I should berate you. But I can only say thank you. Your reasons were your own. But whether you meant for it or not, your fight is our fight, huh? Both of us. To the very end. Don't go getting sentimental on me now, Harper. Ah. Those misty eyes are just age. Yes, I feel myself growing older as we stand here. <laughs> so... Lead the way. We're yours to command. The cub speaks. Cub? Huh. Not so much a term of age or affection as simple old habit. You object? Not so long as I get to call you crow. Uh, the cub and the crow. <laughs> Sounds like a cautionary tale, as it probably should. What is it, my friend? 
Do you remember why you were meeting with the Zentarum? So dark an alliance sealed with Zentish contracts, cultish vows, and a dragon's shining horde. You think Minsk could forget? You are correct. I have no idea what any of that was about. But we shall simply... Gah! Boo! Why do you nod my soft parts? I am trying to... Once again, in smaller words? I see. This truth you seek. Boo believes that Minsk is knowing more than Minsk knows. But it is a difficult thing. There are memories of this time that Minsk does not remember. And Boo suggests that, just as he helps with tricksome itches in awkward places, you must reach what Minsk cannot. The Parasite. You can use it to tickle free whatever truth you seek. You sound... reluctant. The worm has already whipped me around the city like a slack-backed pony. I have no wish to saddle myself a second time. But... If it cannot be Boo who pops inside my skull for a rummage, then I trust you. Or Jahira, but she is currently possessed of an empty head. At first, there is nothing. His mind is empty as a still expanse of open country. But then... Ugh. Your face, the Stone Lord's face, mirrored in bloodied steel. In the heat of burning buildings, you hold your blade high above pale, frightened faces. No. That is not right. I slew only monsters. The voice said that they were monsters. A whisper. The Absolute's voice. Twisting the petty guild thieves before you into snarling, savage beasts. Feeding on the weak of your city. The guild. The Stone Lord hunted them, peeled away their rotten ranks one by one to lay bare their corrupt heart. Nine fingers keen. That is what the Absolute bought Black Zentis Steel to do. To kill the Guildmaster. So the Zentarum overthrew the Guild. What then? What does the cult get? What does it matter? Cultish thinking has occupied Minsk's mind for long enough. Now is time for doing. And this talk of evil overthrowing evil, pa! Like a many-headed hydra biting at its own throat. Bring forth the hydra, says Boo. More faces for the punching. First we pop the center in blood. Then we show nine fingers, the five fingers of Minsk. Yes? As simple as that. Yes? Yes. Follow me. Minsk shall be your shadow, as Boo is his. Why, you? What in, Shosh in shadows have you come back for? You have been the subject of many wrinkled brows between my hamster and I, Sir Bankerbeard. On the one hand, you are clearly evil and deserving of a mouthful of righteous knuckle. But, on the other hand, the one in which Boo sits and pleads your case. At the time of our last meeting, Minsk was the evil one. So, we are not agreed on whether we will return here and feed you to a mimic... yet. I see. Well... By all means, keep me up to date. Here's the coin that was taken.
and not even a whisker light. God, you're a boring bastard. Me too, I suppose, because I'm not even tempted to scam you. Take this vault key. You'll find something by way of thanks inside. What has you sneak in a rat? Oh. Minsk does not sneak, Queen Cutpurse. He follows a direct line from boot to butt. Turning the Zentarim on me with my own coin. A dramatic entrance to land the killing blow yourself. I'll give you this, Stone Lord. You've got style. Minsk has no such style. We are here to cleanse the Zentish taint. Not to rub it all the deeper. You expect me to believe that you're here to help me? Yes, against the Zent at least. Helping first and harming after. Justice dines on a set menu, Nine Fingers. And Boo will be having seconds. Don't let the hamster nibble on anything valuable. We might just get along, Stone Lord. Come then. There are visitors in my guild hall. I'd be a poor host to keep them waiting. Who says smite? Must be done. Let's move. Zenta down. Just you and me now, Stone Lord. So if you mean to take my chair, you'll get no better chance than this. Minsk has no interest in your furniture, Nine Fingers. Only in the wicked rump that fills it. What? You have been a stone in this city's boot for too long. And it will be no stone lord who reaches twixt border and sticky toes to dislodge you. It will be Minsk! I haven't got the slightest idea what he's trying to say. Proof that he is back to normal, no? Minsk, calm down. The battle is over. So the Hound answers to his name again, does he? And you didn't have to put him down. Good. I'd rather you die as Minsk the Mad Rashimar. It's silly, but... Do you know? You were something of a hero of mine when I was young. Even now, your tongue twists the truth. When you were young and ten-fingered still, Minsk and Boo were stone, instatuated on a city square. Aye, I remember the spot. By a garden on the wide. A soft thicket near the market, with ample pockets to pick. Celestia itself to a street rat looking for shelter. You might not have been wrestling monsters, but you kept the wind and the rain off. Heroic enough for me. Bah! You tried to dampen Pooh's eyes. Do not think you will be spared his teeth. Evil is evil, even if it was once innocent. Oh, I'm no innocent. But evil? Will you tell me? With the fist, the watch, and the council itself all licking the Absolute's boots, who's the only one left standing to protect Baldur's Gate? She's right, Minsk. She's been an ally down through the years. A friend, even. A friend? Jahira, Boo cannot believe his ears. Has the city fallen so far in our absence? Are there no heroes left? Heroes come and go. But the Guild has always been here, protecting the city. Until the Stone Lord came to break us. 
Well, Ranger, you cannot always leave it up to your McLaren. Make a choice. <laughs> Jahira says she is no McLaren. Perhaps not. But if she says I should not honor, defend, and listen to her, it is the only time she has ever been wrong. If she trusts in Nine Fingers, if you do, then so will Minsk. But that means the things Minsk has done. I am shamed. Nadeshka. Unworthy to fight alongside my friends. Ooh, what am I to do? I can't speak for your rodent, but I know something of debts. If you reckon you've got one to repay, well, we could always work together. With you? Pfft. Minsk has no lust for gold. That he would shake grandmothers by their ankles or set boo nibbling at their purse strings. I'm not talking about that. We've both got bigger enemies than one another. The city's enemies. And tears honest truth, you gave my guild the wake-up call it needed. We've grown complacent, lazy, too sure of our standing. We never would have needed the Zent if we'd had a fighting force of our own. Swords for the city when the Watch and the Fist fail us. Like a berserker lodge of my homeland. No army or militia serving the local lords, but heroes working for the common good. Heroes? Sure. Very well. Minsk and Boo accept! I'm sorry, you... You what? Boo and I will be your berserker lodge, taking the ugly ways of your guild and beating them into a more virtuous shape. That's... not even slightly what I was saying. I wasn't asking... <sighs> you are right. I have proven myself unworthy. I cannot serve this city if I was so easily turned against it. If I do not know my own mind, perhaps I no longer know what is good. Simple then. Trust that Boo will guide you both. Boo! Boo. Boo! Kingpin Boo! <laughs> my friend, your wisdom is vast and unknowable as the Rashimi High Country. What say you, Boo? When the Absolute is slain, shall we join Nine Fingers Keen and show her the ways of goodness? You did say he was your hero, Estelle. Uh, maybe you'll learn something. Oh, can't we just go back to killing one another instead? <sighs> All right, fine. Let's leave this particular fight for when the actual war is won, shall we? With the Stone Lord off my back, I'll be able to bring my people out of hiding. Cobble together a force, so we're ready when you call on us. You have my thanks. Though, I'm still not actually sure you haven't made my life that little bit harder. My friend. Now we have settled the matter of the guild. I fear there is something I must tell you. You and Boo both. It may shock you both to know, but Minsk and this Stone Lord, they are one man. The same one man. And that same one man is Minsk. I'm aware. You tried to kill me, multiple times. Never has Boo been more proud of my failures. I wish to believe the Stone Lord's evil was the worm alone, attainting my thoughts with foul dung. But I see now, the dung was within Minsk all along. So I wonder, if Minsk can be a villain, and Nine Fingers a hero. Must it be so with all creatures? Is there good and evil within us all? <laughs> Boo calls this nonsense. 
Less thinking of bad thoughts, says he, and more breaking of bad bones. But still, I would hear what you have to say on the matter, my friend. You believed you were following Jahira. That's not evil. Even though it led to evil ends? And even the true Jahira is not always right. She sometimes pets Boo a little too roughly. Or denies him the breakfast broth so that I must dip him in the pot when she looks the other way. I do not pet him too rough. Wait. You do what? I begin to wonder if good and evil is not a thing of knowing. If it is sometimes a thing that Minsk must decide for himself. Alone. Which is why I'm asking you. Everyone has the potential for good. It's just buried deeper in some, or lost along the way. I see. In the case of Nine Fingers, perhaps it was all bunched up in that finger she lost. It shall be for Minsk and Boo to be her virtuous pinky. <laughs> it is strange. A worm sits within my skull, twisting my thoughts. But it is you that have made Minsk see the world anew. You, my friend, are the true parasite. There is good and evil in all. Let us go crack villainy skulls so that the virtue might leak free. Yes, Boo. I am becoming something of a philosophizer. <laughs>